To solve inequalities, we're going to solve just like an equation, except when we multiply or divide by a negative, that's the key. We reverse the inequality sign. So let's say I have 4x is less than 12. I'm going to solve just like an equation, divide each side by 4. Here's my x, here's my 3. You ask yourself one question. Did I multiply or divide by a negative? And in our case, we'll be dividing. I am dividing by 4. This is the key. That's a positive. So our inequality remains the same. x is less than 3. If I want to solve minus 3x is greater than or equal to 24. I solve just like an equation. I'm going to divide by each side by negative 3. I get x, I get negative 8. I ask one question. Did I divide by a negative? Yes. If I divide by a negative, I don't touch this sign. I change my inequality sign from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. That's the key. Let's say I have negative 10x is greater than 20. I divide each side by negative 10. Here I get x. Here I get negative 2. Did I divide by a negative? Yes. I reverse the inequality sign. Let's say I have something like this. x negative 7 is less than negative 4. I solve just like an equation. In this case, I'm going to have to add 7. I get x here. I have 3 here. Did I divide by a negative? No. I added something to both sides, so it stays the same. So sometimes we flip it. Sometimes we don't. Let's say I have this one. Negative x is greater than negative 4. I want to know what x is. Right now, this is solved for negative x. So, it's not finished. I have to know that if there's no coefficient, a 1 is understood. And this is the one people get wrong, I'd say, the most. So, I have to divide each side by negative 1. Here I get x, here I get positive 4. I ask the question, did I divide by a negative? Yes. So greater than becomes less than. Let's say I have one a little more complicated. 2 minus 5x is less than 7. I solve just like I solve an equation. I subtract 2, subtract 2. I end up with negative 5x. I get a 5 over here. Did I divide by a negative? No. I subtract it. Stays the same. I'm over here. Here I get x. Here I get negative 1. Did I divide by a negative? Yes. So less than becomes greater than. We'll do one more inequality, but we'll do a little bigger one. Let's say I have one like this. 5 times x minus 3 greater than 2x minus 12. I solve it just like an equation. I'm only going to have to worry about my last step. So distributive property, 5x minus 15. I have 2x minus 12. Solve the equation. Subtract 2x, subtract 2x. 3x minus 15 is greater than negative 12. I'm still solving just like an equation. I want x all by itself. Add 15, add 15. Here I get 3x, here I get 3. I still added 15. Now, I'm going to divide by 3. Here's my x, here's my 1. Did I divide by a negative? No. So if I don't divide by a negative, it stays the same. Then let's just graph it and put it in our notations to make sure you remember. I graph it. Here's 1. Greater goes this way. 
It doesn't have or equal to parenthesis. Interval notation is this interval. So there's no or equal, so there's no bracket. It goes from 1 all the way to positive infinity. Set builder. I'm dealing with an x, so I have x such that x is greater than 1.